The family of a young man who's been sentenced for his involvement in the kidnapping and rape of a Kegman teenager is disappointed at the justice system. They say the real culprits are still walking free. I'm planning to appeal this one to the, to the Ninth Circuit Court. I will appeal this case and I will find out because I believe in justice. I believe in justice. Henry Sablon says his family is disappointed and shocked over the prison sentence handed to his nephew yesterday in Superior Court. 22-year-old Angel Jess Santos was sentenced to 15 years for his involvement in the kidnapping and sexual assault of a Kegman teen last year. According to Sablon, his nephew entered a plea agreement with the government and agreed to be a cooperating witness against the other three who actually did the crime. What kind of justice is this? I cooperate to tell the truth, and the three, they don't tell the truth. I, I'm the one that tell the truth, for example, Angel, he, he, he told the truth, but 15 years, too much. The three others in the case had charges against them dropped without prejudice, but the family is waiting for a re-indictment. Catalina Santos is Angel Santos's mother. She tells us what her son says happened that morning last June. My brother told him to buy beer early morning in CYA in Katma. Then suddenly the two boys, the three boys, they call him. Let's go poo. And my boy, he don't know what kind of poo is they talking about. Until they put him on the car and they drive to Tang Beach. When he looked inside the window of the car, he saw the girl with the three boys inside. And I, when I asked him, where are you? He said, I'm the back of the pickup. They told me to look. I said, why you don't run? Run and ask him for it. She said, I'm already scared. So after they do, do something to the girl, that's the time they, the car go and they let see Angel walk back to his house, to my brother's house. Sablon says his nephew has never been in trouble before this and has always been very obedient. It's like my son, like my son. Go ahead, give him the program, community works, give him everything, or 10 years probation with monthly check, and we will see if this boy is going to do it again, because I don't think so. And like I said, the first time because of the temptation of the tree. Now look at what happened. He's carrying now the consequences in there, and the tree are on free. I really feel really bad for him, because he's been inside for 15 yeah. years, and that's my young boy. <laughs> Every day I cry. I think about him. I cannot stand go go to work. Then I cry at my work because I think about him. Only two days he don't call me from the OC. I cry because I didn't know what happened inside. He might kill him or he got sick. That's why I'm really worried about him. Especially now they give him 15 years. I don't know what would happen to him.